All right, guys, this is part three, the last portion of the electron configuration. We wrote some electron configurations. I want to do two more with you guys just to show you um, <clears throat> basically all three of these uh, essentially together as best you can. Uh, and it'll make a little more sense. you got to progressively practice these to see all the areas. Now, how many electrons are found on the highest occupied energy level? As you see, it's the coefficients, the highest coefficient in the electron configuration. Bam, right there. And that tells you. Okay, so let's scroll down to the last two examples. Uh, it's going to be germanium and strontium. Okay, so we did potassium, iron. So we're going to finish up with germanium and strontium. Okay, so let's take a look here. So germanium, let me scroll this down. Uh, on the periodic table, it has 32 electrons. Okay, 32 electrons. So we start filling in from the left. One, two, three, four, up, 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 seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, up, 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 fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, twelve more. One, two, three, four, five, Notice I'm going up, 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 then down, down, down. Okay, which brings me to the 4P, and I have two electrons left over. So up to here, I've used 30. So 2, 4, plus the 6 is 10, plus 2 is 12, plus the 6 here is 18, plus the 2 is 20, plus the 10 here is 30, and then we have two left. Up, up. Okay. So electron configuration stops at 4p2, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and put the exponents into these spots right here, just like so. All right, and then what we're gonna do now is look at how many half-filled orbitals we have, okay? So here we have two half filled orbitals right here half filled and we have one empty now the other important question very important question is how many electrons in the highest occupied energy level remember n is the energy level principal principal energy level the highest coefficient found on this electron configuration is 4 the fourth energy level, and check it out. There's two of them. There's the 4p2 and the 4s2. So we have s2, p2. So that equals a total of four electrons in the highest occupied energy level. Now, if you go and look on the periodic table and you find out what group germanium belongs to, Turns out to be it's in group 4A. Okay. Okay, right in the same group as carbon. Now, the last example we're going to do is strontium. Strontium has 38 electrons. Okay, so 38 electrons are used in making this electron configuration. So 38, this is gonna take some time to do this and we have to follow all the rules and go along here. So we're gonna start at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and excuse my arrows, they don't look great, but it's very hard to write with this mouse. 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Woo, that's a lot. So we're going to start filling in the numbers. It ends in a 5s2. So we have two electrons here, two here, six here, two there, six there, two here, 10 there, six there, and it's five, two there. So the electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, uh, 3p6, 3s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2. Now, there's no half-filled orbitals, there's no empty orbitals, and there are only two electrons found in the highest occupied energy level, and that's the fifth energy level, the five. There's no other five. You always want to make sure when you're looking at the highest occupied energy level, you scan everything. You check each coefficient just in case because you guys are new at this. And that's it. That's electron configuration. Okay, so we're going to look at some practice problems I'm going to have you guys do. And you're going to do a couple of these on your own. You're going to use the handout that I have that looks just like what we've been doing on here. But we're going to move to a point, uh, to a way that you're going to have to do it yourself. So make sure you practice memorizing the way that these lay out. Like, remember, it's 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, 4p, 5s, okay? And the s's have one orbital, p has three orbitals, uh, and the d has five orbitals, and the f has set, uh, seven, yes, okay? Make sure you remember that, because you're going to have to do this all on your own. Okay, you're going to have to draw these lines on your own and you're going to have to write the coefficients and the uh, sublevels below full on your own. That's part of the process. Okay, this is just learning right now. You're learning how to uh, write the arrows and come up with an electron configuration. Okay, all right, signing out.